Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and today we'll be looking at what can the Tanuki stomp in Super Mario Bros. 3. Alright, first up we have the simple Goomba, which obviously can't stop the Tanuki. Even with its fireballs, the Venus Fire Trap, also known as the Fire Piranha, is no match for the Tanuki. Koopa Troopas? No problem. Paragoombas are easily Tanuked. Koopa Paratroopas? Forget about it. Piranha Plants, like the Fire Piranhas, don't stand a chance against Mario's statue. Okay, so P-Switches aren't enemies, but the old Tanook can still squash them. So it appears we may have found the first enemy resistant to the Tanook's incredible crushing power. The Micro Goombas! The Micro Goombas may be small, but these little mushies evade the Tanook with ease. Like a swarm of bees, the Micro Goombas attach to the statue unscathed. Boomerang Bros? More like Boomerang Nose! The boomerangs themselves are unaffected by the Tanook stump. No blocks are fun for the Tanuki to blast into coin heaven. Sometimes Tanukis need a break from destroying everything. White semi-solid blocks like this one are used to go behind the scenes and you can even find a warp whistle. However, when you're in Tanuki form, you will not fall through the block, sadly. Oh no! Potaboos, potaboos, lava bubbles, whatever you call them, they may be intimidating, but no worries. Tanuki Mario can take them out. Just be ready to flutter to safety so you don't boil yourself like a spaghetti noodle. Rotodisc, or as I like to call them, radioactive disco waffle balls. They can be a pain in Mario's booty. Luckily with the old Tanuki, you can stomp them and take them out for good. A Tanuki statue can crush your dry bones, however, he'll come back from his bundle of bones ready to annoy Mario for all of eternity. Crushing spike walls of death are no match for Tanuki Mario, however, Tanuki Mario is also no match for crushing spike walls of death. It's a draw. You can use the statue to take out Boom Boom, but it still takes the usual three hits, which makes it feel semi-pointless. Our dude Buzzy Beats is taken out with a single Tanuki stomp, but leave Buzzy Beats alone. He's pretty cool. Did you know you could slide a statue attack? Sure regular slides work fine, but it's more fun as a statue. Hammer Bros, more like Hammer No. Cannonballs cannot take the force of the Tanook, and Bullet Bills are also taken down fast. All right, so place your bets in the comments below. Can you Tanook the Koopalings? You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is no. No, you can't but you can damage them and bounce around on their heads. This is not only fun, but after three initial hits, you get your precious magic wand. Do note that you'll confuse the king with your snazzy raccoon costume. Thank you, kind raccoon. Please tell me your name. Pile driver micro goombas are sneaky little mushrooms using shiny blocks to confuse and defeat Mario. Though Tanook's too smart for that and will crush those micro goombas into goomba jelly. Delicious. Feels weird to consider jumping on a fire snake. Personally, I like to avoid fire and snakes in most cases. But the Tanook fears nothing. Sorry, fire snake. You're dead. I never really thought of Tanook in an underwater cheap cheap, but to my surprise, it works. Cool. I already know that you can Tanook a thwa- What? Uh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm not crazy. Uh, so there's a weird hitbox thing with the thwomps, but you know, just be careful statue diving thwomps. They're a little devious. Boos seem to nukeable. Let's try it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sadly, you cannot to nuke a boo. This level features two enemies I'm the most curious about, the Tweester and the Angry Sun. The Tweester is too much for Tanuki Mario, but we do get to see Tanuki Mario in a new pose and his gray hue, which is cool. So the Angry Sun's not only hard to attack with the statue, but it's also very ineffective. The Angry Sun is one tough son of a sun. Fire Bros, more like fire, no! Upside down Buzzy Beetles can be tricky to dodge, but they're quite easy for Tanuki Mario. Rocky wrenches stand no chance, and the statue will protect you from their diminutive wrenches. I was unaware how good the Tanook is underwater. It can crush bloopers. The Lava Lotus I am thinking won't be Tanookable, but we gotta try it. You think it'll work? No surprise there, but let's try one more time. Ooh, so like the Thwomp, it does work. 
However, the hitbox is quite particular in where the statue needs to land. Interesting. Blooper Nanny's baby bloopers don't seem affected by the beautiful gray statue. However, you can take out Blooper Nanny with ease, leaving her poor baby bloopers to fend for themselves. That's actually pretty cruel. Anyways, Boss Bass caused me all sorts of issues. It was nearly impossible for me to time a statue attack. The times I did get close, it didn't appear to phase the giant jerk fish whatsoever. Gelectros, the spike replacing evil squiggly dudes, seemed like an obvious one. But I tried it, and I failed. Boss Bass was unaffected by Tanuke, however, I was easily able to knock out both Baby Cheap and Big Bertha in a split second. Mario is seeming cruel yet again. Why me? Hmm. Blackatu goes down fast from the statue's attack. The ball that Spike throws is immune to the statue, but Spike himself gets squashed like a bug. Stretch boos like regular boos are all around jerks. No matter how many times you tanuke them, they'll just make evil faces and continue attacking you. Ball bombs go to their detonation state when the statue bogs them. If you pick them up, you'll see yet another tanuki Mario animation, but with the gray statue color. Kinda neat, kinda pointless. Time to stomp some giants. First up, we crush a giant piranha plant known as Piranicus Giganticus. No match for the tanuke. Gargantua Koopa Troopa? No match for the Tanuke. Colossal Koopa Paratroopa? No match for the Tanuke. <laughs> no match for the Tanuke. And the Grand Goomba. Also no match for the Tanuke. Like regular bullet bills, the Missile Bill or Bullseye Bills are easily crushed by Tanuki Mario. Buster Beetle can be a pain. Luckily, he's no match for the Tanuke. Chain Chomps are flat out scary in Super Mario Bros. 3. It can be tricky to line up, but the Tanuki can stomp them too. Nipper Plants are those mobile plants that act a bit like munchers. Nipper Plants don't care about Mario or his amazing statue power. They'll just keep on chopping. Spinies may be sharp, but they're not sharp enough to penetrate through the Tanuki statue. Tanuki Mario can take out a shooting Goomba and he can also ride around in the Goomba's shoe. This, however, prevents him from using the statue, so that's a bummer. Like the nipper plants from before, munchers also could care less about the tanuki suit. This was hard to time out, but you can tanuke a falling spiny ball from a lagatu. Probably not worth trying at home. Fire chomps are scary enemies that seem to chase Mario forever. The tanuki doesn't fear these chompers one bit. Parabeetles are more friend than foe. You can land a tanuke on them and they'll help you fly across the sky. They're cool like that. Reverse lava bubbles, no big deal for Mr. Tanooks. Like regular Cheap Cheeps, the spiny Cheap Cheeps are easily KO'd by Tanuki Mario. Here's another failed attempt at attacking a baby blooper. I have not learned my lesson. The Tuis are some of the trickier enemies in Super Mario Bros. 3, and I'm now noticing a pattern of how a lot of these plant enemies don't really care about the Tanuki's ability. Plants do what regular enemies Nintendo don't. That joke was pretty bad. I apologize. Even the stationary pipe Tuis are like, Tanuke what? <laughs> Can't hurt me. One of my favorite things to Tanuke is the rocket engines. This one isn't logical, and I love it. Giant cannonballs are larger than small cannonballs. That's pretty obvious, but both are easy foes for Dr. Tanuke the third. Sludge Bros have a runny nose. That's from crying because they know Tanuki Mario is stronger than they are. The Laser Bowser statue is kind of an enemy, so I tried to Tanuke the laser. I am an idiot. Sure, Tanuki Mario can take out a rocket engine with ease, but no way he can handle the flame of a candle. Bowser's fireballs cannot be tanuked. I am not surprised in the slightest. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, or maybe only some of you. Can you tanuke Bowser? And the answer is... No. But you can bounce on his head and it looks pretty funny. I'm calling that a win either way. All right, I think I covered every enemy. If I did miss something, let me know. What was the biggest surprise for you in this video? If you enjoyed it, be sure to thumbs up and leave a comment. Also be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I release new videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, check out the BTG merch and join the BTG Discord in the description below. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you around.